Hello and welcome to another episode of our Unknown to Icon series. We are now in episode 3. In the last episode, we had just beaten Leamington 4 0. And we were playing at Leamington as well. So the team's playing really, really well. In today's video, I'm going to catch you up on some games that we played in for background. And we've got two games for you in today's episode, both against Banbury United. And they are both league games. But first, let me give you an update of what we did in for background so following up from our 4-0 win against Leamington we went and played Scarborough Athletic and we again away and we won 4-1 we are flying our team is clicking our tactics are working will it last I mean we went unbeaten with Tottenham for such a long time and then it went pfft. Is that going to be the same case? So back to back away wins, eight goals from us. And then we play Kingsling Town and we lose 3 2. Let's see what went on here, I guess. Uh, if I go through the stats first, 23 shots to their 14. We only had four on target. Maybe we do need to go work ball into box, stop taking those long shots. XG wasn't that great because of our port on target ratio to how many shots that we had. Corners, fouls equal, and we was down on percent session by a little bit so for xg story we're red they're blue as you can see it was going pretty well one nil up went in at half time and then they got the equalizer something turned for them in a good manner obviously but we did get that goal back to get the lead again but then suddenly they just outplayed us got the two goals and took the win away from us then we played lemington back to back this one in for FA Trophy and for second one in for League. Got for draw, moves away. Considering that we played them not long ago and beat them 4 0, you may expect us to just win that again, right? But that wasn't the case. Yes, we had more shots. We had more shots on target. XG was superior. Had really good possession, 58%. Looking at the story, they actually got the early goal. And I think that's what threw my team. And then we were searching, searching for that goal. Got it just after half time and then trying to nick the winner. They improved, but we also followed that suit. Ah, yes, so the second one wasn't a league game. It was actually for replay straight after each other. I think we played on Saturday and then we go into Wednesday and we're playing replay and I rested some players and I don't think that was a good idea because we got battered 4-1, but how we had 18 shots to their 10 11 on target to their 7 55 percent possession they got a quick fire two goals two nil up we started improving our play they got a third goal we were getting better we got for our first goal of the game three one and we just kept on improving improving like putting that effort on we was all over them and then 60th minute they got four one and i think i just went all out attack and it killed them off but we're just gonna get any more goals we go into the last game of December as I said at the beginning of the video Bramber United we're going to go into that game and show you and we're also going to play for next game as well which will be Bramber away so it kind of gives you an idea of how the team might be performing on the pitch home and away they are currently 15th in the league so I'm expecting us to get the win so no opposition instructions that's interesting but that's fine at half time we'll look at where they're playing it and who's their best performing player and we'll just mark the title and press their best player that always seems to help out a little bit I'm actually quite happy with it form apart from carline carline hasn't been playing that great so do i need to drop him jay richards hmm, he's not really a fullback senior can play there and then i think gareth dean he's 6.76 same as carline on form nah there's no point is there let's just leave carline in my camera needs to come out Fabio Lopez. I expect a better performance. Yes, you are right. We're at home. They're not doing that great. I mean, our form slips. Look, there's our two wins. Loss, draw, loss. How are they doing on their form? Let's have a look. Loss, 1-1, one, one, loss, loss. Okay, our form's slightly better. i have both got two wins out of our last five. And there you go. I mean, we've got a game in hand. Don't forget that. And we're not far away from that playoffs. But we need to be picking up those points to be able to keep up with the playoff positions or it's just going to run away from us and we're just going to be easily stuck down here for another season. We got for Ball Woods with free kick. Oh, crossbar. Crossbar save. Corner. Come on, Brackley. Jones to Armson. Mara Betsy. Into Santi Woods. They're just shooting, aren't they? Can't get it through. It's Oh, that's a free kick. Also going to be a yellow. Look like he got pulled back. Just how he can't line with a free kick. Is he going to have a shot? He goes for it. Oh, good save by Ratcliffe. 
So they're saying floated crosses hit early. Wow, look at that XG. It's been a bit meh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just make some tweaks here. I think we're just going to work ball into box. They're saying hit early crosses, but I will f change it to floated, but work ball into boxes. If we get opportunity to cross early, then obviously we would. All right, free kick for us. Armson into a box. Back out to Mara and Betsy. Back to Armson. Richard stands, finds into Lopez. Lopez has shots. Unlucky. All right, Sante's got the ball. He hasn't scored for a while. He was on fire when he first joined us. York, come on, York. Yes. Yes. Stead plays all right this game. And then obviously we know who to play next game. Armson, free kick in. Was we pulled? Is that a penalty? Don't really read text. Text ideally needs to be up, right? I wonder if you can change that. Can you change your text position from being down here to up here? Or do you need a skin for that or something? Yeah, wouldn't that be great if you could put your this text just up here? Obviously, my camera is above my monitor, and I would just prefer it up there, to be fair. It's so low down. Hmm. And to be fair, above is just stadium as well. Okay, so I'll check for settings, and I can't find anything to move the commentary up. If you know a way of doing it, let me know be much appreciated right we've got a penalty armson to take it let's play back off the net two nil up 60 minutes on for clock gonna quickly make a change to my instructions and take away work ball into her box because i do like seeing outside our box shots but our assistant recommended to do hit early crosses and floated crosses we only went floated crosses so i'm gonna go with his advice as we're winning two nil see how it goes i'm also i'm not going to go to cautious just because it still feels like a tight game we're not overrunning them maybe in the last 10 five minutes we might change it see we might unless we get a third goal and then yeah i'll change it straight away so with that in mind i'm going to tell them to be a bit more disciplined play a less higher tempo and uh trigger press a little bit less often and go with that it is a tight game apart from we're keeping them from having long shot, long shots, or just not hitting our target. All right, Banbury's got it again. On for left. Uh, goalkeeper. Ah, oh, what are you was you doing, Warby? My God, that was the worst punch I've ever seen on Football Manager from a goalie. That was awful. You've now made this game awfully tight going into the last ten minutes. I'm gonna have to put our instructions back. Sacked how we had it because we was doing all right. I just can't believe that. Oh, just that one stupid error from our goalie just changes the play. All right, Banbury's got a corner. To be fair, I don't think we concede that many corners. Didn't in my Tottenham game. Oh, Jesus. It was a good effort. Ah, oh, they're just piling on pressure now. And they're through. They've got the bloody goal. Oh, my God. 2 0 up. And brave. All right, let's change York instead round. And know Sante is not playing well either. For the last couple of minutes, do we do we just go for it ourselves? Last two minutes, why not? We lose, we lose. We win, we win. All right, Walker's got a ball. Oh, he's off. They're not going to be attacking anymore, are they? Nah, it's all over. I hate when for time just... Man gets sent off, we go attacking, and for time just ticks down. No highlights. Nothing until obviously last 20 seconds and now they've got the ball and they're making me shit myself. No. No. I'm disappointed. It's never nice to allow a rival to get a result, particularly when we were expected to beat them. Yeah, I'll go with a system of that. Happy New Year! As it's now just turned New Year in-game and we are ready to play our second game against Banbury. Back-to-back -back games, but this time we're away. Oh, and I've put my glasses on. Maybe that's the reason why we wasn't winning. I don't know if you guys ever had a superstition way of playing football manager games when I was younger, playing championship manager. If I was at home, I had to lean towards the home side like that. And then if I was away, I had to lean towards our away side. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't really have any superstitious ways of playing football manager. Just play the game and try your best, I guess. Let me know if you have any superstitions. Be very interested to hear, even if they're weird. Okay, so we've got our team instructions here, some recommendations. I'm just having a look at them. They want us to push higher up, play cautious, but push higher up. 
increase our defensive duties and build match fitness for Alastair Warby. Okay, again, no opposition instructions. And I forgot to have a look at that last game. Let's remember at half time to just look at the heat map and look at player ratings and just make some decisions. So Woods is out injured and we are going to bring on Richards. I thought he did quite well when he came in. I'm also going to take off Fabio Lopez and I'm going to drop Warby. So three changes in this game. We all know how much these games against our rivals matter. Yeah, can't. It's our rivals. We're away, though. I think they're more favourites now. Uh, colours have changed. We're yellow now, and Bambury is red. Oh, confusing. Oh, got an injury. Oh, they both collided. But Bambury still attacks. Oh, oh, they're both down. You also got a slight knock. Okay. All right. Really bad clearance header by Carline. Heads it straight to them. Ooh, was that offside though? Yeah, I think his little flag came up. Or was that for goal kick? I'm not too sure. All right, nearly half time. Can we find a goal before half time? Stead. Oh, lovely. Oh, go on, Asante. What's going on? Oh, dear, 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 dear. It's a tight game. Where's York? So we take him off. He's playing left. Let's bring on Putz. I think his form was okay. He plays okay when he comes on anyway. Opposition, let's have a look. Okay, so, what? Quite a lot in the middle. They played a lot in the middle against us in the first place. They're playing 4 3 3. They're playing 4 3 3 like us. Yeah, it's very, that's probably why it's very evenly shaped because we are all <laughs> positioned well like that. I mean, our heat map, yeah, again, around that 8, around that 8. No, they are playing 3 up the back. Is this just a. Showing my formation against their heat map. It looks like the same. I don't get it. I don't get that at all. Okay. Uh, so best performance is this Aqua. So where's he? Aqua. Left wing. So we've got nothing on him. So we want to hard tackle him. And we'll do that on the same wing as well. Show him to a foot. Weaker. Weaker. And uh, we'll just tight mark him at uh, this one at the moment. We've been for better team here. No, nah, it's been tight. But I do want to give them a push. You've been unlucky so far. Bambri. Oh, what a free kick. And it's their best player playing on the field at the moment. And he just scored a screamer free kick. Couldn't do anything with that on our position instructions. Damn. I'm saying, oh, crossbar. Oh, we've hit post and crossbar today. It's a tight game. Look at that. 12, 12, 4, 4. Right. 11 minutes. We're going to have to do it again. Attack. Charge. I'm going to keep a center on because then today he... He's got a goal in his locker. Armstrong's playing rubbish. He might play all right if I push him forwards. Defense is playing all right. Left wing back's not. But because we're going to attack in, might as well play a proper wing back in Yusef. Armstrong, let's bring on Lopez there. Confirm. 10 minutes. Attack. Charge. Get for it. Go, go, go. And for time's just going to run down, isn't it? All right. Banbury's got the ball. Not what we wanted. And they find it through. Nate Lewis gets the ball. Come on, give equaliser. Two draws against this team. If we can't beat them at home, then a draw away would be a good result. Going to rethink my tactics, I think. Form's just gone absolutely awful. Well, what can I say? What can I say? We are now 16th in the table and nine points away from playoffs. It's amazing how a few games can just change the story. From last video, we was hopeful of getting into playoffs end of this video we need to make sure we don't drop into relegation because we are only four points away from relegation do i stick with my tactics do i stick with this approach will it come good we've got the team because it works well with tottenham am i just expecting that this is a broken tactic and it's going to work for every team i mean it's we can have that attacking we can have that cautious play but maybe our starting formation needs to be a bit more balanced and not so premier league I'm going to go away and have a think. So if you want to see what we do, hit that subscribe button. Like for videos so that it can also work its magic on the algorithm and reach everyone else. Thank you for watching. New to my channel? Check out this playlist.